guys, I am dressed. I'm ready. It is Saturday. I'm going to an Ed Sheer concert in Tampa. We have to leave because we have to be on the road by like 2 o'clock and it's about to be 1.30 and I have to go pick up Archie. So here is my concert outfit of the night. Put it together last minute. This top is from Express. My skirt is from Target. And then I'm wearing these like clonker... I'm wearing these like clonkery type shoes from I think Misguided. They're Sarah's and she gave them to me like a couple years ago. But I need to put some like lip gloss on because my lips look so pale. My nails match my top so that kind of came together. We are heading out, we're ready to go. I'm packing up my little clear bag. I'm gonna try to bring this. This is what I tried to use for the Taylor Swift concert but then I was too scared to bring it. But I'm gonna try it this time because I saw girls walking around with it. We're gonna put like my extra battery charger, lip gloss, things of that nature. I gotta go. I don't want to run late. We also have to stop and get food. So the concert starts at six and it's a two hour drive and that's like without traffic. So hopefully we get there on time. I'm stressed, but blessed. You can never sleep in traffic. Cause living steady panic. I know cause I try asking. There you are. I guess you guys are having deja vu right now. Just like and this is where we walk for Taylor Swift. explain what happened exactly because I didn't really talk about it much as you guys just saw we got in everything was fine we got our drinks Archie got like a Bud Light or something and I got a Vizzy which I had never heard of it's basically a seltzer type drink I start sipping a little bit while we're waiting in line for merch and all of a sudden I feel like completely nauseous and lightheaded and dizzy I stop drinking my drink and I instantly like start crouching down into a fetal position ball like as we're waiting in line i'm like crouched like this with my head down every time i stood up i felt like i was gonna fall over and pass out it was so scary we came to the conclusion that we think i was just really dehydrated because also when we got to the concert which you guys did not see any of this but it was pouring rain so we were stuck in traffic trying to find parking for like a good 15 20 minutes and we ended up parking at someone's house. So across the street from the stadium, there's a bunch of like numbered streets with homes and people will free up space in their driveways and their like grass lots next to their house and they'll charge like 20 bucks a car for parking. So we ended up parking at this old man's house. He was so nice. I was a little sketched out about it at first because I don't know the Tampa area that well. So I'm not like too comfortable and familiar with like leaving my vehicle anywhere, but it ended up being completely fine. So if you guys ever go to Raymond James and see that there are strangers offering 20 bucks for a spot in front of their house, honestly, it's okay. At least the guy we parked in front of his house was super safe and fine. We ended up paying 20 bucks to park there and then we had to walk to the stadium, which was about a 15 to 20 minute walk and it was raining. So I had my umbrella out. It was like the episode of SpongeBob where they're delivering the Krusty Krab pizza and the wind is blowing and everything is just not going right. Like my umbrella kept flipping like, upwards but it was a whole debacle just getting to the stadium and it was hot so as soon as it stopped raining it just became instantly humid if you guys are not from florida and you're not familiar with florida humidity and heat it'll kill you so the second it stopped raining it just became so suffocating hot outside and even though i was wearing a skirt and a tank top i was dying from just being dehydrated and sweaty and like feeling claustrophobic from the air all of that combined with taking a couple of sips of alcohol 
sent me over the edge. I had like a little episode where I literally thought I was gonna die and as soon as he got his merch, we got me a water and I had to go like sit against the barricade. That whole thing happened for a good like I want to say 30-ish minutes and then after I started feeling like a bit better, I was like standing alone from everyone just breathing. I was able to go and like stand a little bit in the crowd like where we were gonna like stand for the concert so that's where those previous clips just picked up on also something i did not include was me hiding my umbrella so this is kind of messed up but if it's pouring rain and obviously people are gonna bring umbrellas to walk to a concert you're not allowed to bring the umbrella inside even if it's raining and this is an outdoor stadium so i don't really understand why they can't just like be a little bit lenient i know it's most likely for safety reasons and i'm all for safety measures in a concert in a venue like trust me that's like one of the biggest things i worry about and focus on when going to a concert is just making sure the security is like top notch because you just don't want any accidents but it was raining and the weather was terrible so they were making people throw away their umbrellas before coming in so i hid mine in a bush because i did not want to throw my umbrella away it was just a whole thing getting to the concert and so i was just very overwhelmed filled with anxiety dehydrated and just all of the negative vibes so it just hit me kind of like a bus i did end up going to the bathroom at one point because i thought i was literally going to puke my brains up so we went to a porta potty and i like got on my knees not on my actual knees because it's a porta potty but I like hunched over and I was just like dry heaving and I was like thinking I was gonna throw up and I was just like praying in my head like please don't let this be the way this night's gonna go like I felt so bad because Archie was so excited to just be there and I felt like I was killing the vibe with me being sick but I did not throw up it was just like a little a little phase and then I went back outside and ended up being okay. Let's continue back to the vlog. I might jump in a little bit later to narrate a few things and put my two cents in on the performance and the songs he performs because it was so good. But I won't do it too much because I do want to leave the vlog just to flow with the order of the songs that he performed and just how natural the environment was in the moment. So let's go. We have T minus. I'm saying like 20, maybe 30. Yeah, they started a little bit late because the first girl who came out, the stuff was wet, so it was making this really terrible noise. It sounded like they was on a chalkboard, truthfully. <laughs> Just like Is that, that not what it sounded like? I mean... Yeah, kind of. Yeah. 
titties in an attraction I've never heard nothing further of a song so sweet I could feel up in the volumes and I keep for me
Cheese better homemade or out of a craft slash Velveeta box? Comment down below if it's better homemade or out of a box. I know the answer. She thinks she knows the answer. Obviously, homemade mac and cheese is obviously good. Like, no one's gonna turn down a pan of homemade mac and cheese. But, in convenience, you're not just gonna whip up a whole pan of homemade mac and cheese whenever. So you buy the easy stuff, and it's honestly just as good. He's just, he's just, um, just a quick little update. We went to Wawa because, you know, I wanted mac and cheese and they didn't have any. Not a single cup, not a single nude. So now we are driving 20 minutes to a different Wawa. So that way I can get mac and cheese. Maybe it was a sign from the mac and cheese gods. This is the dedication that you guys should look up to. 
<laughs> Not the slight pause of fear. Yeah, I looked over and there's a cop <laughs> and I didn't know. Um, can you get arrested for vlogging and driving? Um, that's the update. I hope you guys are inspired by, you know, my dedication and perseverance um, to things that I love. Even if it's as stupid as mac and cheese. I'm being very sarcastic. I hope no one takes me seriously. Do you want to vlog and just tell them about the concert? Um, so Southie's not going to like this one, but I think Ed Sheeran was better than Taylor Swift. Hearing that. No, truthfully, the concert was stellar. I'd do it again and again and again, probably. He was saying during the show that he hasn't been to America in about seven to eight years, so I just think it's pretty cool that we were America? Wrong. Yeah. Really? Like, well, not that he hasn't been to America, but he hasn't toured America. I sprinted to the bathroom during a cover song. If you guys didn't know, Ed Sheeran wrote that song and gave it to Justin Bieber. So all that you hear about Justin Bieber and how big the song was because of him is wrong. Did you guys know that the song Don't is written about Niall Horn? Well, it's not about Niall. It's about Ellie Goulding. She's the girl he's singing about in the song. But the guy that he, like the line where he's like, but you didn't have to take him. What's the so line? you disappear to him to have sex, of course. That part is about Niall because Niall hooked up with Ellie Goulding. That's wild because I love Ed Sheeran and I never knew that that song was about Ellie Goulding. And this is for all you homies out there and girls, I guess, too. Keep your friends close. Oh wait, keep your enemies closer. Nope, keep your friends closer than your enemies. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. That's how it's supposed to go, but obviously Niall was not an enemy to Ed, so keep your friends closer than your enemies. There was a point of the show. I filmed it, I filmed it. When oh, he was did? singing Afterglow, right? Yeah. And then the, the things started going down, I was down. like waving, I was like bye! And then as soon as I ended that clip, I was like, all right, let's go. And then he came back. <laughs> yeah, I had to let him know. I was like, dude, it's not even over yet. Thing went up. It went up so fast the second time. I was like, <sighs> and then he popped out with a Tampa Bay jersey on. Mm. That says subtract on the back. Subtract five. I'm talking a lot. Oh, the camera's probably gonna die. So I'll see you guys later. I have to document this moment, this beautiful moment right here. We secured the back. This is a beautiful. Look at this. Oh my god, smell it. Uh, let me have my moment. Hey, you can have your moment. Mm. I have to like pace myself because it'll get really full. We're gonna eat and then we're gonna drive home. I'm gonna drive an hour and a half. Got a Red Bull. I will survive. She said, I got a Red Bull. That she shows off her mac and cheese. <laughs> this will help me get through the drive. And he's also not gonna fall asleep, right? Can I be on the jams? No. Deep. See you guys tomorrow. This will be the end of today's clip. I think this will be a weekend in my life because I feel like Ed Sheeran was pretty long. Worth it. It was worth tomorrow, it. Tomorrow, technically can... later today, because it's after midnight. We're gonna be moving everything out of my room as if I'm moving out because we're getting the floors redone. So that'll be the project that you will see. And then maybe we'll go into the rest of the week. I don't really know, but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with us on Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran, if you ever watch us, we love you. Even though you never will, but we love you. We do love you. <laughs> so much.